The word communion is defined as an act of sharing, uh, to hold something in common. Uh, other descriptions use words such as a participation, a partnership, fellowship. And, uh, you know, these are all terms that go hand in hand with doing something together and being relational. And so uh, we're going to touch on that relational aspect of communion this morning. Friends, you and I are in a relationship together as brothers and sisters. And we also have a relationship with the one who brings us together. And uh, as we take, you know, a moment this morning to uh, reflect and, and remember the sacrifice that Jesus made for us at the cross, we're also uh, giving honour to God and thanksgiving for making a way for us to be in relationship with Him. God loves you, church. He loves you and He cares for you. If He didn't, then He wouldn't have bothered to send His Son, His only Son, Jesus, just as it's written in arguably the most prominent scripture of the New Testament, I believe, John chapter 3, verses 16, which starts off by saying, For God so loved you. God so loved the world that He gave His only Son, that whoever believes in Him will not die but have eternal life. God loves and wants to be in relationship with you. You know, the difference between a religion and, and relationship is this. Religion, because God is perfect and I'm not, I'm unclean and unworthy. Religion places God in a position that is so unattainable and out of my reach that I'll never enter His presence. I'm not good enough and so I'm left wondering if this is even a relationship at all. But in a relationship, God just says, come, I love you. I know you're not perfect, but let me help clean you up. And so God in His infinite love and His grace and wisdom knows and understands who we are. He knows we're not perfect, but yet He still desires to be in relationship with us. And so we're going to honour that this morning. Uh, before we take the emblems, let's just bow our heads and pray. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you love us. We thank you for your unconditional love, Lord. We thank you that there's nothing else in all creation that can separate us from your love. And Lord Jesus, as we receive this bread and cup this morning in remembrance of you, today we honour and celebrate the precious gift of life that you gave us, Lord. Lord, would you fill us with your spirit today as we recommit our lives to you in your holy and precious name. Amen.